On Wednesday afternoon, Major League Baseball announced that Robinson Cano has received a 162 game suspension without pay after testing positive for a performance enhancing substance, violating Major League Baseball's joint drug prevention and treatment program. He had been previously suspended for a violation of that program in May of 2018, and his current suspension will commence at the start of the 2021 season. Right now, we want to bring in Michael Kay. Michael, I'm sure you talked about this on your radio show. What does this news do for the Mets, and what does it do to Cano's legacy? I think it destroys Cano's legacy. It just doesn't make sense because what he tested positive for was Stanozolo, which is what poor kids take. I mean, this is a multimillionaire. He's already been suspended once, and then to do it again with a drug like that, it makes no sense whatsoever, and he cost himself $24 million. So the two drug suspensions... 36 million. Now, how it affects the Mets' maybe pursuit of DJ LeMayu, while well, it does free up $24 million this year, it frees it up. But Cano comes back next year at the age of 39, has two years left in his contract at over 70 million. So it just frees it up this year. I don't think necessarily that means that the Mets are going to go after uh, DJ LeMayu any harder. If they had him in their plans, they were going to go after him. Maybe this allows them to go after a couple of pitchers or bullpen guys. And they also have the option of moving Jeff McNeil over to second, which a lot of people think might be his best position. But for Cano, it's, it's a mine bending head scratching move i don't understand why you do it i guess people just don't want to be ordinary because he's already got the money in the bank and by doing something like this you, you're costing yourself the money there's no more money to be made at the end of the contract you're going to be in your 40s so he just couldn't play maybe in his mind without taking this stuff it's it's a sad story and also amplifies that many years back the yankees made a good decision keeping their offer at seven and when it went to ten they said all right go to seattle um, i don't think that they could have foresaw this but bottom line is the seventh year was last year